That's right, Hip Hop Unboxings. Hip Hop Unboxings, this is it. This is the official unboxing, everyone. So here we go. Hip Hop History being made at Listen Vision, DC's largest and oldest recording studio. Yep, that's how we started off, and now everyone's paying attention. So, Malcolm, oh God, I forgot scissors. Hey, y'all, can we get some scissors up here? We forgot scissors. Um, oh, thank you so much. Oh, lovely Green assistant. Heron is on oh, point. Oh, my goodness. I love them guys over there. Nice, Blue Heron. Appreciate that. We got them. And right now, we are unboxing the very first item is from the Hip Hop okay. Museum okay. here at DC's largest and oldest recording studio, Listen Vision. It is coming all the way in from, hold on, it's coming all the way in from Plano, Texas. Coming in from Plano, Texas. Everything's uh, big out there. Hopefully this item isn't used, and you'll quickly see why I'm saying that. You'll quickly and immediately see why I'm saying we hope this isn't used. Yes, that's right, y'all. It's black sheep condoms. <laughs> because the choice is yours. Put, you, put, your, put your wolf in sheep's clothing. Are you the flavor of the month? Or are you just a strobe light honey? <laughs> Thank you for the bomb drop. Either way, wrap it up with black sheep condoms. Uh, the music plays when you slip it on. Okay, mm. next item. It's like one of those Hallmark cards, you know, when you open it, the music plays. Next item coming in from Studio City, California. Studio City, California. The second and last installment of the Hip Hop Museum's unboxings every week on District Spotlight. All right. Doing us the honors. I, I actually forget what this is. So it'll be... Oh, cool. All right. Horribly wrapped and boxed, and that's awesome. Wow. So dope. So dope. I love LL Cool J, and this is 1991 November LL Cool J live, hard as hell, at the FAU Auditorium, and FAU stands for Florida. Keep going down. Florida Atlantic University. This is the homecoming show from 1991 of Florida Atlantic University with LL Cool J looking like a fly guy. He's chilling. He's chilling like a villain. Okay. Uh, I guess a good segue would probably be that you're working with all of this art yeah. and actually brought with him a really incredible piece uh, of Rakim and signed by Rakim. Can you tell us a little bit of the story behind this? Yeah. One of the things I like about the, uh, the art is uh, there's a story behind it, every piece. This is a piece from an artist. It's a, it's a unique story because uh, I've had his art hanging up in my house for a number of years and, and not so much hip hop related, some of the art that I have, but just really didn't make the connection and realized that uh, the, the artist is Justin Bua and he's now living in California by way of New York and just a phenomenal artist and uh, I got this picture uh, as, a, for, as a Christmas present and I knew Rakim was going to be in town. I think you joined me for one of the shows. Uh, the, the first one was canceled. Yep, it, it, did, it did get canceled and, and rescheduled yeah. uh, and I went to it and managed to, uh, managed to hang out with the gods. It was at the Howard Theater. Shout out to the Howard Theater. They, they do a, a phenomenal job in, 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 in getting me access and uh, taking care of us when we visit the venue. Uh, so I got to hang out with the guide and yeah. he blessed it with his signature. I'm so jealous I wasn't able to make the uh, the second uh, the second uh, event. But uh, is uh, is this next artist, Dan Lish, is he part yeah, of yeah, uh, this, that this, urgency? This, this, he's not. Uh, I would like for him to be. Maybe he should be. Of course, uh, Raekwon. This is Raekwon's album. newest album. And Raekwon was on tour. I, I was with him at the Fillmore uh, in Silver Springs. And he, he tagged it. You can see it. It's in gold. Uh, yeah. Tagged this. Also have a mic um, signed. I really love this artist, Dan Lish. He's really dope, and he did some really cool stuff for De La Soul as well. And a lot of people, a lot of folks. But yeah. He's got Rakim. He's got uh, a lot of different yeah. artists. So just Google him. You can find him. He's 
He's all over social media and, and the web. Big web presence. And this is, of course... This is super cool on two levels. Go ahead and show them that. Yeah. So, this is a signed album. But not only is it signed by Rock Kim, the record that you got signed is I Know You Got Soul. Personally, my favorite. Yeah, you signed this when you signed that mic, Single. which which maybe next time I come in, I'll bring the Rock Kim mic. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this was... How many items for, uh, do you have signed from Rock Kim? I don't know. Two or three, I think. Two or three? You just showed me four. Really? Four? Yeah, yeah dude. The mic, yeah, yeah. the record, the uh, the picture. Well, you can see, I don't, I don't, I don't really keep it And the book. Yeah. <laughs> He's got four on stage right yeah, now. Yeah, just I can't count. That's so awesome. So here's what we're going to do right now is, uh, oh, this is what we do at this time of the show. We get right to 